Well, welcome back. You know, when he's not winning world championship rings, Houston Astros third baseman Alex Bregman is committed to making a difference in the lives of children with autism through his foundation, Bregman Cares. And there's a reason why this cause is so near and dear to his heart. Yeah, his godson Brady, seen here throwing the first pitch at an Astros game earlier this year, is autistic. Here with more on Brady's story and how we can all help more kids just like Brady, Alex Bregman, alongside Dr. Summer Ganey, president of Bregman Cares. Welcome to you both. It's great to see you. And Alex, we'll start with you. How did this all begin? Yeah, so when Brady was born, we were all very excited. And uh, I think maybe two years uh, had gone by and Brady uh, had got diagnosed with autism. And we all had no idea what to do, no idea who to talk to or anything like that. So um, his parents, Tish and Jason, were searching just trying to find something to help their son. And um, we decided that we wanted to start our own foundation to help children with autism. And uh, it started uh, back in Albuquerque and it kind of transformed here into Houston. We initially were putting iPads in uh, schools to uh, help children learn how to communicate. And um, it was a huge success. And um, now we kind of want to elevate it to uh, the next level and try and help as many um, kids with autism here in Houston and across the country. You know, it's so great because I know getting that diagnosis for so many families, it's not just the child who's receiving that diagnosis, it's the entire family, it's the whole network of people searching for answers, how to make that life better and more opportunities. So the fact that you're doing this and, and creating this cause and awareness, I know earlier this year um, at Minute Maid Park, Brady was there for Autism Awareness Day, and that is so special to be able to create um, a space for Brady and others like him at Minute Maid, you know, to come out and really just kind of, in other words, integrate, get these kids involved in everyday activities. 100%, yeah, I think that day has just helped Brady so much. I, his dad sends me videos um, every single day of him taking batting practice in the backyard okay. now. Uh, he absolutely loves baseball, and we have a, we have to say thank you to the Astros for all their help this year. They donated the 50-50 raffle that day to our charity, um, and it's going to make such an incredible impact in this community. Um, and, and we want to we want to be the leading. Um, place to go for kids with autism here in Houston and that's why we brought in Summer and um, her expertise in the field. Summer, there are so many challenges for families who have received a diagnosis of autism. Just accessing the basics, there can be so many barriers and that's specifically what this foundation is trying to combat. Absolutely, and really you hit the nail on the head whenever you said this is an entire family that is going to be impacted by a diagnosis. And so what we want to do is get access to services as soon as possible. And that doesn't necessarily mean just getting the diagnosis. That means understanding the diagnosis. Which other professionals do you need in your life, in your family's life, so that you can fully integrate, as you say. Uh, the, the night at Minimaid was just amazing. When you talk about a full family focus, what better way to celebrate your entire family than having them be able to go out to the ballpark together as a family unit. It's really great. And, and I will say, here's what we love to do here at Houston Life. We love a call to action. And our viewers are so great at this because they answer the call every time. And so this is what you guys are doing for the toy drive. Uh, and there's several components here because it's Lily's toy box and it's the toys will be distributed. And it's not just to one child. It can be to the whole family. So how can people get involved? Yeah, so our, we have all the information um, on our Instagram page, Bregman Cares, in our bio. And um, people can go there, check it out. and. Um, if they feel inclined to help help some families, um, all the information is there uh, to be able to donate toys and and honestly donate um, for the, for times to come when it, when when we're trying to do different initiatives um, in Houston. Um, so if if anyone uh, out there wants to help out, we would love uh, love the support and um, we can't wait to make a, a great impact um, with so many families this holiday season and beyond. The partnership with Lily's Toy Box just makes sense. We've featured Lily here on the mm -hmm. show. We saw the photo of you and your wife, Reagan, and the photo of Lily as well. So for viewers who are watching right now, how does it all work? Are there uh, donation stations set up around the, the greater Houston area? There are donation spots all over Houston. And once you go to our page, at Bregman Cares on Instagram, there are maps to tell you exactly where to go. But you can also shop from Amazon, and that information is there as well. And as Alex said, we will Bregman Cares CARES has some amazing announcements to come at the beginning of the year. We're working on some exciting things. And so our site, BregmanCares.org, is also a way to stay involved with the organization. 
It's so great. And I have to say, Alex, I mean, you really, you love Houston. And that's what I think is so great. I know, you, you know, born in, in Albuquerque and raised and then, you know, LSU, but you've really embraced this community as your second home. Um, so let's talk about the dad stuff. Yeah. How's, now that well, you're in off season on a regular schedule, I mean, how's Knox? How's Hank? The dog Hank? What's going on? Oh, uh, they're they're both doing great. They are loving life. Uh, Knox is smiling. He's trying to talk. He, he hasn't said his first word yet, but um, he's trying to talk. Uh, <laughs> today we went over to Float Baby, and he was so swimming cool. around. Yeah, he's having a blast. And and Hank loves him. Hank absolutely loves him. He's a, he's like the most protective dog now. He never used to be that way. He used to be like super nice to everybody. And now anyone. <laughs> comes into the house he's barking at him trying to <laughs> trying to protect Knox so it's been fun and and Reagan's doing great um, it's been awesome to be able to spend this time with uh, with the family after uh, after a great season and congratulations you just celebrated your anniversary right yes we did two years yeah. yep December 5th um, we uh, we got to spend a full day together uh, it seems like life's been crazy after the World Series we've been going everywhere whether the CMAs or up to Kentucky to see the horses or back home to New Mexico for Thanksgiving, but we finally got to like kind of just relax and spend a day together on our anniversary. It was really nice. That's nice. To it's be parents. also incredible that, and we saw Reagan several times, <clears throat> excuse me, during the postseason, but it seems like with the addition of Knox to your family, y'all are still doing your thing. Yeah. We saw Reagan posting <laughs> little Knox with his headphones on. They're at Minute Maid, so he didn't really miss many games, and y'all have still been traveling and doing, doing the, the couple thing. Yeah, he is. A, he's a trooper too. I think he actually likes traveling. I've never even heard him make a noise on a on the plane, um, whether it's traveling during the uh, during the postseason or um, traveling back to go home to see family. He's been awesome. I think he actually loves it. So. Uh, um, we've been having a blast with them, and, and uh, yeah, we're definitely still enjoying our, our marriage, too, at the same time. Yeah, that's really great, and that's a secret, too, for sure. Okay, can we talk a little baseball? Let's do it. Okay, uh, Jose Abreu, have you welcomed him? Where have you taken him around town? What are you doing? <laughs> Give us all the 411, because that's my old hometown where he came from. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. I haven't, I, haven't, uh, I haven't gotten to speak to him yet, but I look forward to reaching out to him here soon. Um, I think we've done an awesome job. Um, For sure. He's, he's an unbelievable player. Um, from everything I hear, he's an unbelievable teammate as well. And um, he, he definitely fits our mold of guys that, that put the ball in play and um, play hard. And everybody says that he's such a great guy. So definitely excited to, to see him. And um, I think as, as a whole, our team is, is really focused on going back and doing this uh, Doing this thing again next year and going back and trying to go back to back, so it's it's tough to do. We've we've tried to do it before, and um, I think uh, this this group's up for the challenge. Yeah, if anyone can do it, it's you and the Astros. But we're going to give you some time to not think about baseball for just a little while. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. But. Uh, Always thinking about Always baseball. Always thinking about having <laughs> dreams at night. Uh, Dr. Summer Ganey, Alex yes. Bregman, it's great seeing you both. Thank Thanks you. for stopping by. And this is such a great initiative, and I know a lot of families will be very moved by your work. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, for a link to donate to Bregman Cares, we have shared that link to the Scene On section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. There's lots of information there. Go check it out. All right. From